It's election season and Algeria faces significant challenges. Plummeting oil prices have made a huge dent in its revenue. And that's led to a healthcare crisis and shortages in housing and rising food prices. Many voters think nothing will change. Algeria is my country. I love it. That's not the issue. But we haven't benefited from anything. They ask us to vote for them, they make us lots of promises, and then we don't get anything. Why would I vote? This is the most timely occasion to tell this regime that it is time for them to leave. A total of 12,000 candidates are standing for 462 seats in the People's National Assembly with a registered electorate of 23 million. Eight-year-old President Abdulaziz Bouteflika has been confined to a wheelchair since a 2013 stroke impaired his speech and mobility. But he has set the tone on the eve of the poll urging people to vote. His influence is significant. He is Algeria's longest-serving president. A man credited with ending the civil war that lasted 10 years and killed hundreds of thousands of people. As war ended, all prices skyrocketed and Bouteflika also won praise for restoring stability that led to an economic boom and major development projects across the country. He managed to retain power during the Arab Spring in 2011 that saw revolution in neighboring Tunisia, Egypt and Libya. Bouteflika is considered a national hero by many of his supporters. I vote. Since I began voting, I have voted for this country, for the FLN. My parents fell on the field of honor for this country. The main contenders include Bouteflika's National Liberation Front FLN party and its coalition ally, the Rally for National Democracy. Opinion polls suggest the FLN, which has ruled Algeria under a single party system from independence in 1962 until the early 1990s, will keep its majority in parliament along with the RND. Other contenders include the Rally for Hope in Algeria, a new religiously conservative party led by former public works minister and fierce Bouteflika supporter Omar Ghul. Algeria has a young population. In a country of 40 million, half of them are under 30, and one young person in three is unemployed. But Algeria has seen low voter turnout in previous elections. Many worry that this will be no different. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera.